You know, I, I come to bring the, bring the pain. I come to bring the excitement. And uh, like I always say, don't blink, baby. Cause bam, baby, good night. My new nickname is Dr. Sleep, and I'm, a, I'm adopting that, 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 that name. Molina sizing up Redcatch, but Redcatch is dead. Now look at Redcatch, he goes, ooh. In this entertaining matchup, two-time world title challenger John Molina faced Ukrainian Ivan Redkatch in a 10-round bout. Redkatch made an early statement by dropping Molina with a combination in the second round. The Ukrainian immediately started celebrating, thinking he had won the fight. However, Molina made it back to his feet and managed to survive the round. In round three, Molina made a comeback and returned the favor by dropping Redcatch with a perfect right hand that landed flush. Ripped it, his whole mouthpiece out of his mouth. And Molina, boom, right there on the button. Redcatch bravely got back to his feet and showed great heart as he refused to go down. In round four, Redcatch tried to distract Molina by taunting him, but the former title challenger maintained his focus and battered Redcatch to score a knockout. And Molina's looking to swing and throw for the fences. Oh, definitely. You know. wow. A big hook to the body of Redcatch. Back comes Molina. Redcatch tied up, and he's looking to go to the canvas. And this one, it's over. John Molina Jr. with an emphatic fourth round stoppage over Ivan Redcatch. That's what I was talking about. Um, that was the case and he got all butt hurt and upset about it. I shouldn't be saying his name and we're here now and I can't wait to cave his head in next Wednesday. HB Pencil, I'm going to break it next week. Wanted to fight the bigger name. Shut so up. Shut up, Michael Zraffa. You're a wanker. Credit to him for no trying to step to up. To but shit. like I said, there's a job that needs to be done. And, um, this is I'm going to smash you to pieces. In April 2022, Michael Zarafa faced Isaac Hardman in an IBF title eliminator. Leading to the fight, both men traded insults, which culminated in Hardman starting a brawl during the press conference. When the two finally met inside the ring, Zarafa unleashed his anger and battered Hardman around the ring before sending him down with a perfectly timed left hook in round two. Body. Oh, down goes oh, Isaac Hardman. What down a left goes hook. Hardman. And he's in a world of hurt here too is Isaac Hardman with a lot of time left in round number two. Textbook left hook, Ben. Hardman got back up on shaky legs, only to be met with a ferocious attack, leaving the referee no choice but to stop the fight. And he will, and it's a stoppage win for Michael Zarafa, who returns with a bang and has won through to his world title shot. Well, you can't play pedigree, and that was a boxing lesson. That was a masterclass. He won the first round comfortably. Let's Celebrity rivals Luigi Barafio and Ken Kaplan faced off in a highly anticipated showdown to settle their differences. The bad blood between these two men continued during the fight as they went straight at each other from the opening bell. Barafio connected with an overhand right to score the first knockdown but he became arrogant as he stood above his fallen opponent. Kaplan quickly got back to his feet and returned the favor moments later with a flurry of punches.
Die ganze Pressekonferenz, das volle Programm. In round two, Kaplan used his superior boxing techniques to control the fight. However, Barafio continued to shout out in the ring and called for more punches each time Kaplan landed a clean shot. Hast du auf jeden Fall ein bisschen Respekt vor deinem Gegner, geht, egal wie viel davor war. Und er geht schon wieder in die Ecke und lehnt sich da so an. Ja, das sollte er vielleicht nicht machen, weil Chan haut schon ordentliche Schellen raus. Besonders technisch saubere oh, Schellen, oh. aber Luigi haut jetzt auch welche hinterher. Eieiei. Oh, ei, ei. oh, da muss er sich decken, sonst wird er gleich angezählt. Barafio soon regretted his actions, as Kaplan kept applying pressure and gave him no chance before eventually knocking him out cold in the final seconds of round three. In March 2017, Sam Eggington defended his WBC International Welterweight title against former two-division world champion Pauli Malignaggi. Things got a little heated between these two men as Malignaggi exchanged words with Eggington during the weigh-in. Remember that BMA commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. God bless. Touch gloves. And a right hand as well. A bit more. He's getting caught with that. He's not over trying. He's just relaxed, relaxed stance. And all he's on the end of some, some shots. However, Malignaggi continued to taunt Eggington during the actual fight. Showing the chin. That he really was a fantastic boxer. The movement and the trickiness which he's doing here. He's working the body up close as well. That right hand as he backs up Malignaggi and these shots will be taken. It's a big ask as well for this time in his career. And Eggington, we know he can punch and he's The former two-time champion got what he asked for in round eight. From Eggington, who seems to just oh, leave. And down goes Malignaggi in the eighth. That looked heavy and he looks furious with himself. He's hurt here. He's not going to make it. After compiling a perfect record of 17-0, fast-rising Errol Spence Jr. took on South African Chris Van Herden in September 2015. However, instead of fighting, Van Herden attempted to get into Spence's head by dancing and taunting him. Now and is just using a, a bevy of different fun eaten up. Now he can land some power shots oh, like that. Left hand. Okay, Van Heerden wants to wiggle out of it, but the crowd reacts to that. Now, what do you make of it, guys? When a fighter comes back and Van Heerden has dropped it, uh, he knows where he is in his career. He knows what he has to do. I think he knows he's still developing this fight, part of his development. Well, he's got Van Heerden. But he's all, he's no games, all business, aggressive. Van Heerden doesn't look good for Van Heerden in the late rounds. Okay, okay, Chris. It's been vicious all night long. Unfortunately for Herden, this strategy did not work as Spence methodically broke him down over the first six rounds before flooring him twice in round seven. Wow. Oh, and down he goes for the first time in his career. Chris Van Herden. All the damage he's taken is not going to take much. Oh. And again, that body oh, oh, and that's a low blow, I believe. In round eight, Herden continued to play the clown in the ring, but he could not offer anything else, prompting the referee to mercifully end the fight. But now he can only lay up against the ropes. This seems like it could be a matter of time. And you know what? That's enough. Alan Hudgens stops the fight in round number eight. Errol Spence Jr. They say the next Floyd Mayweather. That was an impressive performance. You and I, champ, looking for... In March 2021, Indian boxers Rakesh Krishnan and Van Lalampuia squared off in a scheduled six-round bout. Van Lalampuia dominated the fight from the opening round, giving his opponent little chance of success in the ring. Coming into round four, Krishnan dropped his arms while taunting Van Lalampuia to try his luck, 
However, he immediately regretted his actions as Van La Lampuia obliged him, knocking him down with a hard left hand. Van Lalampuia continued to press the action hurting his opponent with a barrage of punches until the referee stepped in and stopped the fight. In December 2021, Australian fighters Lucas Brown and Vaiga Opalu contested for the vacant WBA Oceania heavyweight title. However, Opalu turned the boxing ring into a circus by taunting his opponent and calling for more shots. In round seven, Opelu got what he asked for when Brown backed him against the ropes and unloaded a barrage of hard shots to end the fight. Stop this fight. He leans in. Stop. There it goes. The left hand it is. And Opelu goes down hard. And Lucas Brown oh, the tail's been thrown has out. won this fight and won himself through to another payday. Congratulations to him, but yeah, you know. That Bill definitely should be around his waist. Well, the WBA do do some interesting things, that is for sure, in boxing here and around the world. But we're watching the end of this one, and Lucas Brown found that. In a battle between former world heavyweight champions, Australian Joseph Parker squared off against Deontay Wilder for the WBO Intercontinental and WBC International heavyweight titles. Before the fight, a highly confident Wilder declared that he was more powerful than Parker and threatened to stop him. I'm just this calm and collective, you know what I mean? I've, I've been here many times before. I have fought his style before. He's never fought a style like mine. He never have felt a power that I bring and possess, you know, so. A fight fire with fire. If they do indeed do that, what's gonna happen? Bam, baby, good night. <laughs> you know, I, I come to bring the, bring the pain. I come to bring the excitement. And uh, like I always say, don't blink, baby. Cause bam, baby, good night. My new nickname is Dr. Sleep and I'm, a, I'm adopting that, 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 that name. So I got Night Quill in the right hand. I told him to bring a pillar and bring a blanket because it get chilly over here as well. So, so you know, I can't wait. Bomb squad! Parker, however, put up a masterclass performance against the 2008 Olympic bronze medalist, landing consistent and accurate punches. Wilder has that side of Wilder to try and cut the ring down. That fierce mentality, you know, fighter mentality, that warrior mentality. So the fight's gonna explode any minute. It was a 3 2. Right. From Parker, and now the right hand lands from Wilder. Deontay Wilder really hasn't thrown anything up until this point. You see Joseph Parker beating the cleaner punches. They're not coming in a high to get a foothold into the contest. Getting bullied with an out. Boy, oh, 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 big shot. Thumbs up. That 
play. That yeah, overhand again, guys. It's no. gonna land again. On the front foot moving forward. And he needs to build it up. He's moving his head. Oh, the big overhand right. Joseph Parker is reacting when he sees that ball that throws the uppercut. And he's throwing that overhand right when he's dipping his head in that chest. And the reason I say Parker is because he has a better technique. Come back now. Just walk him back and kill the time. Wilder did not have an answer for most of the assaults coming from Parker, who comprehensively outboxed him for 12 rounds to win via unanimous decision. Joseph Parker! Thank you for watching until the end. Please leave a comment and tell us which of these fights was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications for more interesting videos.